And I'll tell you a true story that I made up. Okay? <laughs> uh, I mean it. I, I think this is a mystery that uh, was painted a long time ago, over 100 years ago in playing cards. And I discovered this little mystery. And tonight, all of us here together are going to discover who killed the King of Hearts. Now, some would say that it was a suicide, going so far as to call him a suicide king, but it is simply not true. And today, I will show you why. Now, first, uh, sir, you'll play detective, if oh, you don't mind. Perfect. We've got a pack of playing cards here, 52 different cards. I'd like you, if you don't mind, I want you to cut the cards for me, if you would. And we're going to mark your cut for the time being. Perfect. And then I also have a little card, and everyone at home can play along. I'd like you to look for a card, not a king or a queen, but any number card that you see, and get a good one in your mind, and we're going to come back to that in just a moment. So now, why was this a murder? Well, one day, while looking at the cards, I discovered something very, very strange. I noticed that the king of spades has one, two hands, right, mirror image, but he didn't have any sleeves showing. I noticed that the king of diamonds also had one, two hands, a mirror image, no sleeves showing. The king of clubs, two hands, no sleeves showing, and it was only the king of hearts, who has not one, not two, not three, but four hands. An extra pair. I was very curious. Upon further examinations, I discovered that the hand that is resting on the chest and the hand that is committing the murder are two different sleeves. It is clearly someone else's hand killing the king. Hmm. Whose hand is it? Well, the ladies were there at the party. And that night, when we lined them up for questioning, we discovered something very interesting. I noticed while the Queen of Hearts, Clubs, and Diamonds were looking at me, the Queen of Spades refused to look me in the eye. I was instantly suspicious. And no matter which way you turn her, she's always looking the other way. Upon further examination, we noticed that the Queen of Hearts, she's got two hands but no sleeves showing. The Queen of Clubs, two hands, no sleeves showing. The Queen of Diamonds, two hands, no sleeves showing. It is only the Queen of Spades that has her sleeves showing. And if you look closely and you look at that rich, bloody red, and you look at that gold, black, gold, those three lines, and you look at the hand committing the murder, you'll see the same rich red, the same gold, black, gold. It is clear that she killed the king. Now, why did she do this? Was the murder set up to collect the insurance money? I don't know. We're not here to guess at motives. We're only here to look at the cold, hard facts. And that's the final evidence. The final evidence that was found at the crime scene by our detective. Now, when you looked at all of these cards here on the sheet, you at home and everyone here, which card did you think of? Was it the Six of Spades? Good. Because if you look at the card that was found by our detective, indeed it is the Six of Spades. And you see, there's a reason. Because it's not just any card. But you check, you go home tonight, you open up your pack of cards, take that old deck out of the drawer, and you'll discover this story is as true in my cards as it is in yours. Because in our hand, the killer holds a playing card. And not just any card, but the one, two, three, four, five, six of spades. Ladies and gentlemen, this case is closed. <laughs> oh.